guys so we are back with another video and today's video is going to be a uh, how I use my iPhone to record my YouTube videos and I'm gonna use my top five tricks or things that you need to pay attention to when you use anything whether it's a phone whether it's a camera just my top five things that I personally think as a small youtuber that have really helped me do my videos that have really helped with everything that I'm about to mention so like I said we're gonna do our mine we're gonna do my top five things that I can give any small YouTuber advice to start their channel and how to go about recording on their iPhone. So first one, number one is your iPhone. I'm currently using my iPhone. I do currently have an iPhone 10 plus. Um, so that is what I'm currently to record my videos. Now, you can use any phone, really. I mean, as long as it's got good camera quality, because I mean, like, let's be honest, you don't really want to make a video and the camera quality is bad. So as long as you have good quality, which is something you can kind of change in the settings. I recently learned that there is a setting that you can go into, go to your camera quality and change the settings of it. So that way it looks a little more smoother. So I recently have learned that personally myself just recently. So that's something that you can check out. Step two, making sure you have enough storage. If you're going to record on your iPhone, make sure, or any phone, like I said, any phone for that matter, make sure you have enough storage. It is so important that you do not record and then end up getting a couldn't save because you don't have enough storage. You don't want to run into that problem. Definitely don't. I ran into that so many times, so many times. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you have enough storage. That way you can record videos. Number three, step number three. The camera. I personally, me personally, I use the front camera. Now, I use the front camera because I want to be able to kind of see myself. Not that I'm looking at myself because I'm looking straight at you guys in the camera. But it does kind of help that before I start my videos, I can kind of look at myself, adjust myself, you know, see what's going on. So I like to use my front camera. A lot of people like to use their back camera because... You don't want to sit there in the video and be looking at yourself the whole time in the video. And then people are going to be like, well, she's not really even paying attention. So this is what it looks like if I'm looking straight at myself. This is what it looks like when I'm looking at you guys. So it's really important that you use your back camera if you're going to be tempted to look at yourself in the screen. But if you're not going to be tempted like myself, I've kind of learned over the past few videos to just focus on the camera and not focus on myself. So this is me. I'm looking at you. This is me looking at you. This is me looking at you. So that's a good, good one. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you have your phone horizontally sideways. You don't want to do your phone portrait style because if you do your phone portrait style, you're going to end up with two black side pieces on your video. And you don't want that because then it just distracts the people from watching what you're actually recording compared to these two black sides. So you're definitely gonna put your phone horizontally sideways, not portrait vertically. Step number four is also gonna be lighting. So lighting is not something you have to pay for. Lighting comes free. We have light outside. So lighting comes free. If lighting is something you struggle with doing your videos, open your curtains. If you have a window in your room, open your curtain room. If you would rather do it in your living room and you have a big window in your living room, open your curtain. Lighting is something that you get for free. If you have electricity and you have a lamp somewhere, adjust it. Make it so it brightens your face up a little bit. I personally just got a ring light a few weeks, or no, not a few weeks ago, like last week, which you guys saw me do an unboxing video and I will have that link below. And I also am going to have link below where I got it on. I got it on Amazon. I did buy my ring light and my tripod separately. And we'll talk a little bit about my tripod uh, in a little bit. But my ring light I did recently purchase. If you want to see my DIY ring light video, I will also have that link below. Um, I did that. It was so much fun doing it. I actually YouTubed the video on how to make a DIY ring light. So it was really fun and it made for a good video. Uh, it was super flimsy. I mean, it did its job for when I first had it and I was just first starting. It did its job. But after the time rolls past, I mean, I used it more and more. I was dragging it around my house to use it. So it became really flimsy. So I did go out and I, well, I didn't go out, but I went on Amazon. I purchased a ring light and I will leave that down in the description below. 
So yeah, lighting, like I said, outside lighting is free. If you have electricity and you have a lamp, just prop it down on you and try to get some good light and make some good lighting out of it. If you have like a vanity and it has lights, anything like that, anything that'll give you good lighting because you don't want to make a video and the lighting is so bad, nobody can see your face or you know nobody can see what's really going on in your video so that would defeat the purpose and you definitely want to have good light step number five 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 is a the position of your phone right so this is where i kind of was talking about i'll get into the tripod i did like i said i got one off of amazon and I actually bought my tripod and my ring light separately. And that is because to buy it separately actually was a lot cheaper than going out and buying the whole set. People have it linked below the whole set and they're like spending $109. Like who's gonna spend $109 on a tripod and a ring light? Not me. So I bought it separately. And I will also have the tripod linked below if you wanna check out the tripod, if you wanna check out the ring light that I bought separately and it fits well together, it looks great, I look shiny so i will have that link below but if you don't have the money to go out and buy a tripod you can use i was using books anywhere i go i try to find anything a book a chair uh, i was using just about anything a water bottle i mean anything you can find to prop your phone on and it's going to keep it sturdy use it if you got it in the house and it's free use it why not who said you have to go out and spend all this money on all this equipment nobody did nobody did i know i when i first started doing youtube i thought that i had to have the most expensive camera the most expensive laptop i was like oh we got to go to the store i got to get the canon mg72 or the canon mg9 abcd who knows I, I thought i had to get the most expensive one but turns out i didn't i have my phone and I made it work. I looked up videos, I did a DIY ring light, got some good lighting, and I made it work. So you don't have to have the most expensive equipment to make a good YouTube video, you really don't. I currently, like I said, I use my iPhone. I did just recently go out and purchase a ring light, but it didn't cost me nowhere near $100, nowhere near over $100. If you are looking for a ring light and the tripod on Amazon and you are interested in purchasing one but don't want to spend a lot of money, your best bet is to go lowest to highest. Don't just type in ring light and expect to find the most cheapest one off the bat. That's not going to happen. You have to go lowest to highest when you go to search. Edit your filter because if you're looking for something inexpensive, they're not going to give it to you right off the bat. So go lowest to highest when it comes to searching for your ring light, when it comes to searching for your tripod, go lowest to highest. That's my best advice I can give you when it comes to making a purchase on Amazon is make sure you use that filter for lowest to highest um, because you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, especially when you're starting out. You're a brand new YouTuber like myself. I didn't want to go and spend a lot of money. I have three kids. I don't have all the money in the world to spend on equipment. So that is where I went with it. But yeah, so I think that is pretty much it. That kind of wraps up the video and me trying to explain my top five things that I use to edit with my iPhone. If you're interested to see on what I use to edit my videos with, check the details below. That video will be linked. But if you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so that way you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you're a return subscriber, thank you. I appreciate it. Like always, thank you for coming back. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber. I really do appreciate it. But until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.